Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely from Chicago, Illinois. Welcome to my channel. My channel is about Twin Flame Ascension. Everything that has to do with that. Every single system that you need to plug into. How are you today? Hey, as I'm doing this, it is what we call the month of love. But I want to explain a few things about how real 5D love is. Okay, so let's go like way back to a time, okay? Because there was a time when, you know, this is going to almost sound ancient. The internet is not what it is today. Like you can look up things and get like instant satisfaction. People really had a hunt. There was not a proliferation of information, <clears throat> much less misinformation. Misinformation, you need to take your bag and go home, okay? So there is a lot of misinformation. So I want to kind of break this down. How does this work? Okay, like really, like how is it supposed to work? Because, you know, we need to get rid of a lot of the misconcepts about this. First of all, this is not random, okay? The things you feel, don't talk yourself out of it because you really felt it. You felt an activation. You felt an energy. Just acknowledge it to yourself. Be confident in it and, and say, this is what I've been expecting. Now, even though it can turn your life upside down, there is a plan and you have to break this down. This is why I have it broken down into actionable steps that you can do that are easy for you. Do you have to devote the time? Hell yeah. Okay, like let's get off this thing that you can do a part-time thing or this is just some spiritual compartment of your life. This is your entire life, okay? Who are you going to be for the rest of eternity? This is like a question you have to maybe ask yourself, you know? Are you just like a little two-dimensional person? You know, are you here to be trod upon? And, you know, this is not just politics. This is in, you know, out in the media and it's how people are feeling. Your ancestors did not have the luxury of sitting around and talking about their emotions and digging it out and churning it a little bit and processing it. Hell no. Do you think they had time to talk about how the boss maligned them? They probably plotted some revenge in their head about that. But in terms of work, you just like went home, took your lumps and like got up and went the next day to work because... You had responsibilities. It was either that or die. Okay. So let's get real. Your ancestors did not always have the time nor the privilege nor the luxury of being able to have a lengthy process to process things out. We do to an extent. Okay. So the things that need to process out, remind yourself, this is a process to process. Okay, that means getting from one point to another is going to take some time and it is going to take some steps, baby steps, big steps. It is going to take some doing, okay? You have to lift a finger. you got to put skin in the game, okay? Now, from the time you have your activation, you start realizing stuff. Stop yourself right there. Red light, green light, okay, there's a red light on you because you can become indignant about stuff. You could be like, oh, yeah, and another thing. And then this group, I'm going to tell you something right now. Everybody has had past lives. If there's something that hurts you, more than likely I can help you dig it out from your past life and dispose of it properly and get healed from it. You might have been on the other side of history, like meaning you would have, you might have been on the losing side. You might have been on the winning side. You may have had it personal. It may have happened to your entire tribe of people, the people you originated from. It's not going to matter. You're moving as an individual toward your coupledom, okay? And yeah, the two of you share parallel things that have happened, if not the same things. Swallow that for a little bit. Hmm. We didn't think about that because sometimes we're so immersed in our own discomfort or things that come up. We are thinking of ourselves. Yes, you should think of yourself. Yes, you should. 
Now, what is the next step in this? Okay. In other words, people start to feel there is something next. It's on the horizon. You can't quite see it. You can't grasp it. It's, yeah, the future is unformed because you're a part of it. Okay. It's your heart urging you and feeling you and, you know, propelling you, forcing you to feel again, force you to get rid of those dense, hard, calloused, wounded parts of yourself. Somebody wants to kiss all your scars and wounds. Are you even letting them? The etheric twin is connected to you to do exactly that. You would be amazed at how when I put you in touch with the etheric part, how swiftly that this can go. It will make your head spin, quite literally, because it is miraculous. It is. I'm not going to lie about that. I can only call it what it is. Miracles happen every day. Small ones, big ones, changes of heart. It's not just in the Grinch Stole Christmas where his heart grew 10 sizes that day. People make progress in all kinds of micro steps and macro steps, okay? You are a part of something. You're a part of something quite magnificent. And if you give in to a lot of the misery that's out there, if you're spending time trying to comfort someone else who really doesn't want to be comforted, like in a forum or, you know, some kind of a column or a blog or comment section, why are you wasting your time doing that when you need to be focusing on you? I mean, I'm going to say it. I know people need support, but those are not proper forms of support. That is not getting it in a closed segment. You'd be surprised how many people troll around in there looking for a sympathetic ear or looking for money for, you know, someone that they can latch on to, okay, which is different than taking a class. It's different than investing in yourself with a webinar, a class, a session, energy movement, healing, etc. What is the next thing you need to know? The next thing is the metaphysical part of you. Okay? Now, this is a kicker because don't expect your doctor or medical team to know about it. Okay? And I want all of you who are medical people, sh give a shout out for yourself. Pat yourself on the back because you're dealing with a lot of crazy out there. You're dealing with a lot of chaos and it is burning you out. And I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you. I am feeling you big time. It's not easy. It's not easy to have people in panic mode, in crisis mode and repeating and repeating their crises instead of getting what they need to get done. Now, do people know what they need to get done? Not necessarily. This is why I teach this. This is why I've created my modality to help you make sense about the metaphysical side of your angelic nature, of you as an angel. What kind of angel are you? I could tell you. One to one, I'm not going to tell you in this video because there's too many. You could be Orphim, you could be Seraphim, you could be Cherubim, you could be Elohim, you could be uh, Ophanum, you could be Nephilim, okay? And let's not knock any of it. All the types are all needed here. We're all here, okay? We're all wearing these human bodies and you can't tell who's who unless you can feel it. How do you get your higher senses open so that you can actually discern what's what, who's who, what's in the past, what do you leave in the past, what do you take actions on, what do you say like, well, a good time was had by all over in that place, but now it's over and it's time to move along. You need to be able to do that graciously, gratefully. What are What is the next thing you need to know about this journey? It's not about getting the guy, okay? It's about enabling the guy. It's about waking up the guy. It's about, or girl, or woman, okay? Just to be square, 
just to be straight up balanced here, if your twin is someone of the same gender, is of the opposite gender, if the two of you are blendy, I don't care. There is another half of you linked to you through the etheric body and there's only one person. Okay, it's not a cosmic orgy. Get that idea right out. That is a misconcept. If you think that your soul wants to muddle up everything with all kinds of people's energy, that is just not happening. It ain't happening. And none of us are really supposed to participate anyway. We're supposed to graciously give back whatever we may have lent. Oh, here is the cup of sugar that I borrowed from you, your sweetness. I'm giving that back now. Well, about time, you couldn't really take it and keep it anyway. I need it for my real love now. Yes, you do. Okay? And sometimes it's that simple, but it can make your head spin and wonder. Okay? So you need to know that. You need to know that. And again, focus on you. Focus on getting into the things that are going to give you your brand new foundation for your brand new light body. Brand new chakras brand new shared connection points. I know this is going to be really new to some people, and I know that there's long timers who have been, you know, kind of lurking around, and, you know, that's what you're called, lurkers. Sorry, but that's someone else's made-up term for it. You're just watching things and watching things, and you're not lifting a finger. Get busy, okay? Get doing something, because otherwise you're dragging behind. You do. Straight up. Got to say it straight up. Which brings me to my next point. This is an opportunity. Okay. So there's a lot of people that when they start to activate, it feels like, woo, and then their pink bubble phase wears off and they're just like, oh, you know, I have the bane of my existence. I've become a twin flame. I didn't know I was that. Oh, doom and gloom. My life will never be the same. Okay, get off the victim martyr cross right now, please. Set it down and start getting busy with what you need to do because your light body doesn't want to carry that crap around either. You're not here to be a victim. You're not here to be a martyr. You're not here to be the long-suffering, three-way, third-wheel person. You're here for real stuff, okay? The promises in this life are intended to come true. But really, you need to take the steps to do that, okay? What is the next thing you need to know? Love, okay? Now, with my modality, this becomes more of your brand new normal than anything else, okay? Your new normal should consist of feeling uplifted every way, day, not depressed, not blah, you should feel enthusiastic or at least prepared to start your day looking forward to some things. You should feel spirited and you should be having love connections that are making it very real for you. How does this feel very real? Okay. Now, this is hard to describe to other people, but I myself for years had dreams of passionate kissing. I was even married. And I had dreams of passionate kissing with my twin. And then I'd wake up and I'd look over and I'd go, oh my God, why can't you be that person? I just knew. Something in me knew. I didn't know the words to go with it, but my heart knew. I'm like, I got to find this person. I was compelled. I took myself into some really, really bad situations seeking what was already connected with me. That is why I created my modality. That is why I say I'm making it easy. You don't have to look for love in all the wrong places. Trust me. You won't want to because you'll just find weirdness. You will find weirdness. If your soul wants you out of those levels, that's what you'll find is weird stuff. You'll find the wrong person. You'll find the person who takes advantage of you. You'll find the person that lies to you, deceives you. You will find a person that's just a good luck Charlie, you know, good time Charlie, just looking for a good time, using, you're just a convenience for them. They want to, you know, get a green card or some immigration papers. It's just going to get weird. Don't do it to yourself, please. Okay. 
I managed to dodge some of those bullets, but some of you are not. Okay, so back to the love. How do you position yourself so that you are actually allowing love in? Where you feel such a tangible touch or caress that it's so real. You, it's undeniable. Where you have passionate makeout sessions in a lucid level that you just know this person to your very core. Now, this is different than having a conversation. I'm talking about passion and not, you know, conversing with people or meeting their family. Those are different things. That doesn't invalidate it. I'm saying a totally new level of really experiencing what this is supposed to feel like. That's what you need because without that, you f you get lost on your own journey. You give up. You don't feel like doing it anymore. You just want your life back. You're not going backwards. So if you think that you had a good time tripping around in 3D, please remind yourself that you got out of it for a reason because it ain't no fun anymore and there is no more energy infusing those levels. The energy has already moved. It's waiting for you over here. Not down there. Over here. Okay? Time to get there. Time to use my modality. I have a breath and movement class coming up. Please look for the links below. Check out my website for all of the new classes that I'm going to have. I am lining it out for this year because this is the year. Ascension is planned from the year 2022 to 2024. If you want to wait till 2024 and get a really hard push by then, I guess that's your choice. That's your free will choice to make. I don't recommend it. Okay. So once again, my name's Patricia. Please check it out. Me and my team are ready to help you. We do coaching. We do specifics like the changes to ladies' bodies in Ascension. It is on, people. If you're having weird happenings with your body, please reach out. If you're not getting answers from your medical providers, do not get angry at them, okay? They're trained for usually up to eight years to find a solution. They too get frustrated when they can't find something. It's probably metaphysical. So come and get the help that you need so you can get on your way to real love. Let me help you get the 5D love in that really brings this to a level that is brand new life. Life, love, and everything that should go with it. Fun, adventure, romantic moments passion romantic like how would you like to have a really passionate night and then get up and go to work and you're you just have that look on your face like that freshly you've had a fresh romp in bed and you're just like oh yeah I'm the little kitty who got the cream yeah you did and nobody is any of the wiser because the natural feel of it is you don't want anyone in there you'll have that glow on you and let me tell you, that is some of, that's even better than some lotion you could put on. So thanks so much for watching. Keep tuned in. And thank you. If you please like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Bye.